Hello everybody, it's Stephanie Old World Gamer, and welcome to my very first bucket plug-in review. Now, um, in case you haven't seen, I did put up a video uh, explaining how to create your own bucket server. Uh, in order to use plugins, uh, well, you go to them, you download them, uh, wherever you download the file, you place that file that you've downloaded into the plugins folder that is generated in the bucket server folder so basically um, like for myself I'll just uh, bring it up here real quick like if uh, if I go into my bucket folder right here there will be a plugins folder so if I downloaded something I would just right click here put it you know uh, if I'm copying or cutting the the file from wherever I would right click paste into the plugins folder and that would be it it would be able to run no problem so uh, today I'm going to show you one of the most important and probably one of the bigger plugins that you'll find uh, which is called the essentials plugin basically what that does is it, it allows you to do a lot of there's, there's a lot of commands more or less there's a um, command reference that it uses I mean this is so big that uh, I mean it has its own wiki um, I mean, some of the major features is, uh, like I said, you, you have a lot of server commands. You have uh, chat and nickname customization. Um, different ways that you can do teleports, teleport requests. Uh, you can make kits for people who first join or player kits. Uh, you can... Um, make homes and server warps pretty easily uh, there's economy support there's moderator control there's core world protection there's a lot of stuff in this plugin that's very important so I'm just going to uh, go through each command but the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the command called big tree and basically it's um, like let's see slash big tree then you have to choose what type of tree you would like like say redwood so it's a it's a type of tree that you want. Like you can have a regular tree like that. That was a redwood. Uh, let's go over here and make. Let's say. Uh, I think the other one's just tree. Yeah. So as you can see, it makes. Wow, that's a weird looking tree. Actually, I don't know why. Here we go. Ah, whoa! Now that is a big tree. Now, but that looks more natural than that first one of it. Now something else you can do, another new command that I can show you guys is the, well if I'm looking at a group of blocks here I can do slash break and it just breaks the block that I'm looking at so if I'm just looking at this block do the same thing, break and it just removes it. Now it, I don't know why you would do that considering if you're in creative you can just chop, 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 chop everything anyways so yeah. Next command we're gonna do is enchant now, enchant it allows you to enchant the item that you're actually holding. So, if I use backslash enchant and uh, let's see, enchantment name unbreaking. Actually, can I get sharpness? I, I could probably get sh sharpness. Uh, and level four. Boom! The enchantment damage all has been applied to your item in hand. So if you just look here at my stone axe, it has sharpness 4. Okay, so the next thing is uh, feed. And I'm sure you've seen this. People who uh, play like battle domes and stuff, they use feed a lot. And feed does exactly what you think it does, which is um, it feeds your character. So if you have any hunger bars missing and you type in slash feed, then you will be fed. Okay, so the next uh, command that we're gonna sh I'm going to show you is the firework command, and it took me a little while to actually get this, but basically you have to have, uh, you can have as many fireworks uh, in a stack as you want, so if you only want this to apply to half, then you can change it, but as you can see, like I changed it there, that it's creeper shaped blue, fades to red, um, and basically I'll show you how I did that. Um, you have to go and put in slash firework, now, this is actually long for, for an end result, but uh, slash firework space color. Uh, colon whatever color you want which is uh, the colors are uh, red and blue and pink uh, fade which again same colors um, shape and effect so it's the same type of thing so color um, colon blue space fade colon red space shape colon creeper space effects colon twinkle and I'll just show you exactly what that does right there there you go so as you can see it it, it started off as blue, faded to red. It's a creeper face. 
and it twinkled. Uh, there was another uh, command that I noticed that I did actually miss out on, and that was the slash uh, experience command. So slash exp and uh, old, oh, old, old world gamer. Old World Gamer has zero experience, level zero, and needs 17 more experience to level up. So that'll tell you how much you need. Now, if you want to um, set or give somebody an amount, like you could just do it the same type of way. Slash EXP, uh, space, uh, the next thing's going to be uh, give. You can also show or set, so either one of those commands are fine. And they mean, obviously, show was the last one I just did for you, more or less. Uh, set is to just set my experience level at a certain amount. And give would be to give myself the amount of levels that I would need. So, slash give old world gamer. And we're going to give myself 10 levels. I have 10 experience on my bar. That's not 10 levels. So, uh, the other way that you can do that is, if you want to change the levels, is let's go to L colon... I think it is no. It's L um, ten. Boom, level ten, and I have 170 experience. Um, the next thing is uh, the next command is well, a very general one. Fly, which means even in survival now I can fly. Game mode. You can do game mode S for survival, C for creative, A for adventure. You can also uh, because of this you can do GMC game mode creative, uh, game mode survival. Game mode adventure. The next command we will show you is the give command. So if I wanted to give myself uh, something like say 10 TNT slash give old world gamer TNT 10. Boom and I've got 10 TNT to play with now. Ooh, wow, look at all that fun. Um, God mode <laughs> slash God. So, I don't know what that does. Uh, slash god again. Disabled. Enabled. Uh, the next thing uh, we have is hat. <laughs> I said that really weird just there. Hat. <laughs> so, if I just type in slash hat. Boom. Enjoy my new hat. And apparently my hat is going to be a fireworks rocket. Uh, another command that you've probably seen in Battle Domes. Uh, our next command is slash heal. And that will mean any damage that we've received... There we go. So now if I use slash heal, uh, hurl's not going to work. There we go. And I'm fully healed. The next thing we have, uh, you've probably, again, seen in uh, probably PvP and Battle Domes, slash I, which is inventory give kind of thing. It's, it's almost the same thing as giving yourself uh, something. So I'm pretty sure you've probably seen slash I torch. And that'll give me a stack of torches. Boom. The next thing we're going to do for... Um, commands is kit so um, uh, you have to make your own predefined kits I believe that's gonna be in the config file for uh, config file sorry for um, for essentials which should be under config.yml and you can make your own kits whether you want to give so that you know say if you're playing survival and you wanted people new people playing survival to have a basic kit you could give them you know say 15 torches five pieces of cooked beef a sword, an axe, and a pickaxe. All wood, you know, pickaxe, or all wood tools. That's very, very basic way of making a kit PvP game on your own server. The next thing uh, is uh, more, <laughs> which is, uh, I guess it's better to explain this with these rockets. Right now I have four, so if I use slash more, and now I have a whole stack. P time, which is player time. Uh, now, let's see how this works. I've never used this one before either. So, let's see. Slash P time uh, 12 p.m. Right, let's try 12 p.m. Player time is set to 12 p.m. Oh, wait, now what about if I wanted to do as 12 a.m.? Oh, it's nighttime. The next command we're going to do is repair. But yeah, as you can see, like, uh... But as you can see, the durability is actually down on my shovel and my axe. So if I want to repair them, I can go slash repair. And boom. Now my stone axe is brand new again. Pretty basic. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Didn't think it would take too long, so... Okay, so the next command that we're going to go over is the speed command. Oh... 
this is going to be fun. Uh, let let let's 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 see how we can do this because there's there's a lot of different ways we can do this. This pretty much allows you just to change your speed, whether it's flying, walking, crouching, whatever. And uh, oh god, let's see. So it should be like slash speed uh, space walk. Speed 100, say. Old world gamer. This is going to be really bad a bit. Oh, 10. Oh, look how fast I'm running. Ooh, I found a village. Doesn't seem like I, uh... Doesn't seem like I swim any faster, though. That, that's one thing I noticed. <laughs> but yeah, you can have a lot of fun with the speak, man. And it's the same thing for flying. It, you'll fly much faster as well. The next thing we're going to look at is the time. Now, you've seen me use it so, a couple times so far. So you can do time set zero, which will set it to ver you know, zero in the in the morning. And you can also use the same thing as uh, we were talking about before for the uh, the player time. You can use day, night, dawn, 7.30, or 7.30 uh, 19.30, 4 p.m., 2 p.m., 2 a.m., 4,000 ticks, 14,000 ticks, whatever you want to call it kind of thing. So... Um, next is another command that's very similar to Big Tree, which is just tree. Oh, apparently tree tools banned to my stone. So anytime I swing my Oh, there we go. Now anytime I right click now with this stone axe, which is now my enchanted tool, I can make trees. So boom 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 boom. Okay, I'm inside of one. But yeah, we can make as many trees as we want now because of this. So that that's really cool. I like that. Uh, it allows you to make force much faster that way, especially without having to type in big tree over and over again. Okay, so one of the commands that uh, I wasn't sure to how to figure out uh, properly was unlimited, which allows you to place unlimited items. Uh, more or less. Well, let me just read what it says here. It allows you to toggle the unlimited placing of items, uh, which I'm not 100% sure what that actually means. I guess that means I can place as many items as I want or, or something without it. Uh, I, I really don't understand because I tried using it for torches and obviously as I play torches I'm running out so I don't think it has anything to do with that. It must have something to do with the world itself so uh, if you guys have any uh, have any feedback on that or any comments by all means please let me know. I would love to know about that because I don't know what it does. Now if I type in slash workbench I actually get the choice of using a workbench without actually owning one. Uh, now, if you have an economy going, um, there are quite a few uh, different economy um, commands that you can use. There's balance, which will give uh, the balance of a current player, meaning like uh, slash balance old world gamer. I should have nothing, no dollars. Now, if uh, if I was you know, I had mini games or something set up in the server that, you know, there was currency. This could be very well worth it. So I'm just going to run down through them very quickly. Uh, just mentioning them as I go. Balance, as I said, gives you the balance, uh, balance of the player. Uh, balance top. Slash balance top will give you the top uh, account balances in the game from all your players. Uh, slash ECO, eco will modify a player's balance by the given amount. So it would be slash ECO space give take or reset uh space player's name space amount so if you're resetting you probably wouldn't need an amount there obviously uh, another one is slash pay which pays uh, the player in a certain amount which would be slash pay space the player's name space the amount um sell sells an item for uh, a specific amount which would be what slash sell uh space item name or its id and the amount that you're looking for. Uh, you can set the uh, how much an item is worth by slash set worth. Um, you can do slash worth to see uh, to display uh, an item's worth. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go through some general commands. Some of these are going to go uh, pretty quickly because well they're easy. <laughs> um, slash AFK puts me in AFK mode, meaning I'm not around at my keyboard, obviously. If there are uh, sealed books in the game, slash book will allow you... No, I'm not uh, I'm not holding any writable books or books that have been written in, so that's not really going to uh, work here. 
But uh, yeah, that, that allows you to do some editing, customizations, and commands for books or whatever. Okay, so the next, uh, the next command that we're going to go through is custom text, which allows you to create your own custom commands, apparently. Be careful when creating your own commands, because you do not want to overwrite commands that are on other plugins or are included with this plugin, because it could really screw it up badly. So that being said, very, very much take your time uh, and tread wisely when using the custom text command. The next thing I'm going to do is slash depth. There we go. Thank you. I'm 10 blocks above sea level. Well, that's good to know. And that's what depth does. It just lets you know how far you are uh, above sea level. And that's pretty much it. So um, let's see. Maybe the next command, get POS, get position will actually tell us uh, where I am in this world. Get position, old world gamer. So there you go, gives me my position. I'm at X minus, oh, 1,263. Y at 70, Z 476. Uh, let's just open that up again. I'm zero blocks away from myself, so that's good. Apparently, uh, uh, whatever I did, uh, when I use the compass, if I click on something now, boom. Uh, I'm up on top of wherever it is, so if I want to go over to the island over there, oh, not inside it, let's go here, now I'm on that island, boom. So, yeah, that allows you to move around, oh, god, quite fast. Yeah, this can be very overpowered. Very, very overpowered. So, I mean, if I want to, I mean, look, the, the world is trying to load right now, uh, I've been moving around so fast. But usually that's, oh! Uh, Oh, not too much of a problem either way so if you have um, different operators on your server and people need help they can use the slash help op command and oh sorry help op slash I need help with griefing and then you're actually going to send it to the operators around there. They'll get the message saying, I need help with griefing. No other players will actually see that on the screen. So if I wanted to ignore Randy, I would put in slash ignore space ringtail Randall. And I'd be able to ignore all of his messages incoming on the bucket server. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. So I don't want to ignore him, nor do I want to be wondering why it's stuck with him being ignored like that and not realize that I've set them that way. Next command is going to be slash info. Can't bind a tool compass. Used to navigation wand. Okay, so let's do it for this block of dirt. Can't bind a... Okay. Try our sword! Info! Info tool bound to stone sword. Okay. It gives you info about the, the region you're, you're positioning. So, let's go to our shovel and put in item db Let's see, stone spade. So there's its item ID, 273 and 2. This item can be used 130 times. And short names for the item. So the next uh, thing we're going to do is we're going to slash list. Now this is going to give us a list of players that are currently online. Uh, the next thing is mail slash mail. So this manages interplayer, interserver mail. So basically it sets up a small email system on your server. So if someone wanted to, <coughs> excuse me, if someone wanted to, I could do, uh, let's see, slash mail, um, send uh, old world gamer. Hi there, you. Let's see what mail sent. So if I go into slash mail, oh, sorry, uh, if I go into, um, slash mail read sorry there we go uh, oh there we go so i got one from old world gamer saying hi there you uh next thing uh me so uh i'm not 100 percent sure what that means m e oh me sad old world gamer sad so that just gives you a description for yourself like me pooping old world gamers pooping so Welcome, Old World Gamer. Type help, slash list, and players online, world time. Okay, so there you go. That's what MOTD does. I don't have a different one set up there. I thought there was a way of changing it, but anyways. So let's message Old World Gamer, and what do we want to say to him? I am watching you. Ah! 
So, Old World Gamer says to me, I am watching you. The next thing is slash near. Players nearby, none, because I am the only player. Now, if there was a bunch of different players on here and I want to know who's the closest player to me, like say we were playing a PvP thing and I was hunting someone down, I could use that to, in order to find out who is closest to me at the time, obviously, so. Look at the command Nick, which is N-I-C-K. <laughs> so I can go uh, slash Nick, uh, old world gamer, O-W-G. And now my nickname will be now O-W-G. So anyone who sees me on the uh, on the server right now, they would see uh, the word O-W-G over my head instead of Old World Gamer. The next thing is oh, Power Tool. Now this can be good and bad. Uh, power Tool allows you to set commands to um, specifically held tools and items. So right now, uh, I could Power Tool, which is... Uh, Slash power tool. Um, let's see. I don't even know what command. Um, set time zero. Maybe that, that, that would be it there. Okay, so there we go. You know, this is time set all the time. So I could just go uh, power tool toggle. All my power tools have been disabled. So now if I click this, it's not changing the time. Uh, the next thing is slash r, which is reply. So if someone said something to me, I can slash r, and it quickly replies to whoever just messaged me. Say if a player has a nickname on the server, if you wanted to see what their name was, you can use this simple command, which is slash real name old, or sorry, uh, I believe it's Stefan, I believe that, that I could use that. So, let's see, Stefan is old world gamer. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the command recipe, which basically, uh, let's see, like recipe furnace. How do I make a furnace? And it shows me right there in crafting that I need to use um, cobblestone all the way there. Can I take that furnace? No. It will not allow you to take it. But that's still pretty cool. So if you don't know how to make something, like, oh, man, what is the recipe for a beacon? Oh, okay, I need a nether star. And I need obsidian and I need glass. Okay, well that makes sense. The next command we're going to look at is the rules. Which means uh, if you have any rules set up for your uh, server, you can write them down so that people can see them all the time. So if I go to, see, file rules.txt does not exist. Now if I wanted to, I could write up my own text file. The next command we're going to look at is scene. Uh, like, uh, check when a player was last online. So like scene... Old World Gamer. Uh, player Stefan is online since 51 minutes 44 seconds. The next command we're going to look at is Spawner. Which means uh, if you were looking at um, a mob spawner, you can change them. The next command is pretty self-explanatory. Slash suicide. I wonder what that does. Boom! Same thing as slash kill. The next command we're going to look at is the slash... Who, oh, who is, which will give you general information about the character uh, that you want, to, or the player that you want to look at. So, again, being the only one online, who is Old World Gamer? I'm in Gorgon at those at that location. I have no money. There's my IP address. I'm in survival game mode. I do not have God mode on. Uh, I do have Ops. I do not have Fly mode on. I'm not AFK. I'm not in jail, and I'm not muted.
Okay, the next uh, command that we're going to look at is we're going to be using the huh, anti-OCH. So let me just show you what that does. Uh, anti-OCH. Uh, wait. There we go. So that's all that does. It's more, it's more or less it gives you a TNT command for wherever you're looking at. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you <laughs> a fun command for that you can use to troll some of the players uh, that you have on your server, which is slash burn. So basically, slash burn sets a player on fire. The next command we're going to look at is clear inventory, which does just that. So let's just give myself a bunch of random crap, a sponge, some powered rails, and now we're going to clear inventory. Boom. The next thing we're going to talk about is... Uh, the command delete jail which is D E L J I L uh, and that removes a jail ender chest uh, you might have seen this recently in um, in some videos so each slash e chest opens up an ender chest that means no matter where you are in the game if you need a chest that you need to access right away your ender chest which is slash e chest will be uh, available to you for you to use no matter where you are the next command is uh, Essentials, and basically that will give you back the um, the version of the Essentials being used, and it'll also reload the configuration. The next command that we're going to use is the Fireball command, and it is exactly what you think it is. Slash Fireball, you throw out a Fireball, boom, something catches on fire. I just lit that tree on fire. The next command we're going to use, uh, you might want to use this more often than you think, slash GC, which if you look, it gives you all the information about how many entities are in different parts of the world, how many chunks are being loaded, etc, etc. It's more or less information about the server. The next command, inventory C, which will allow you, it's uh, basically INV SEE, -E, and then followed by the player's name. So if I wanted to look at somebody's inventory, which I don't have anything in mind, <clears throat> I can slash INV SEE -E, uh, space the player's name and it will open up and show me what they have in their inventory. Next thing is uh, jails command slash jails and that'll give you a list of all the jails that are on the server at the moment. Not really much to talk about in regards to jails because again I don't use them myself. Slash kill all will actually kill all the mobs instead of players. The next command is the lightning uh, command which people refer to as the smite or the shock, or the Thor power, whatever you would like to call it. And basically, it strikes you with uh, lightning. Let's see that from uh, while it's happening. Yeah! So thankfully, I'm in creative mode and I don't get killed right away. Uh, the next command we're going to look at is uh, something you probably won't use too often unless you're very, unless you're trolling or you're really, you know, mad at somebody, which is slash nuke slash nuke old world gamer uh oh may death rain upon me oh god see but it doesn't blow up anything it just uh, aims for the players and the next man we're going to look at is ping uh which we can just do slash ping and it will say pong the next command is remove slash remove and what that does is it removes entities in a certain radius now if you're using a bucket server, you're probably going to have a plugin that removes entities anyways. If you haven't noticed it yet, um, there are, if you see like right here, clear lag. It removed 192 entities for me. So that's something that you, if you have clear lag, you probably won't have to worry about entities because it'll be clearing it for you. Social spy. And this is a very prying uh, command that uh, you can use, which... Uh, Again, tread lightly using something like this because this is uh, infringing on people's privacy more or less. And basically, what it does is you do slash social spy and then space and then the player's name. So, old world gamer. Basically, this allows me to see all the private messages that went to old world gamer. Spawn mob. Well, that is quite uh, self explanatory. Slash spawn mob. Ooh spawn mob and what are we going to do we're going to creeper uh 10 old world gamer and again i'm sure you've seen this on other uh people's videos before so boom 10 creepers just pop out on top of a player if i was in survival these all explode and i would 
probably yell, scream, and cry at the same time. The next command is sudo, S-U-D-O, which basically you can make another player perform a command. The next thing is the command thunder. So slash thunder will uh, enable or disable the thunder. The next command is weather. Yeah, you can ba basically set the, the, the weather up to anything you want. The next command we're going to look at is the jump command. Now, this works almost like uh, the compass thing where I was looking and I just right clicked and then it would just bring me there. Well, depending on where I'm looking, I can use slash jump, boom, and it brings me right there to where I need to be. So very, very fast. I'm going to go over towards where those trees are. Slash jump. Boom. All the way over to where the trees were. So that's that's a pretty cool, pretty awesome command. I like that. The next commands what we're going to look at are the teleporting commands. So basically, um, slash TP and then old world gamer old, well, Ringtail Randall. Again, using that as an example because I usually play a lot with Randy. Basically, that would send me, uh, teleport me to wherever Randy's location is. So, slash TP, slash player's name will uh, transport you to that player. If you want to change, like, say if I wanted to warp Randy to somebody else, mm -hmm. I could put that slash TP, space, ringtail Randall, space, other player's name, hit enter, and he'll get teleported to that player as well. The next command we're going to look at is TPA, which more or less gives you, uh, a it asks if, um, you can ask a player if you can teleport to them. So you don't automatically just teleport because you want to. You actually have to ask for permission. And in order to accept that, you uh, either uh, TP accept, slash TP accept, or you can deny, which is slash TP deny. Another command is slash TPA all, which allows you to um, teleport all people uh, to your current location. Uh, but that sends a request, so that's why it still has a TPA all. Um, there is also TP all, which just automatically teleports all characters to, or sorry, all uh, players to your location. Using TPA all will make them uh, get a request as well, so then they can accept or deny depending on if they're busy or not. The next one we're going to look at is the um, TPA here, and basically you ask the player if um, to if they want to be a. Uh, transported to your location not for you to go to their location so it's vice versa tp here uh well as i said uh just like tpa here it just instead of asking them it overrides it and just sends them automatically to your location the next command we're going to look at is tpo and tpo overrides players preferences and teleports you to that player and same thing with tpo here it uh, overrides whether they want to be teleported or not and teleports them to you the next teleport command is uh, teleport position, which is slash TP POS. And basically, uh, you have to put in your own X, Y, and Z coordinates. Uh, one of the last teleporting um, commands that we're going to look at is the TP toggle, which allows um, you to toggle player's ability to teleport to you or not. So slash TP toggle old world gamer will allow people to teleport to me. If I do it again, it will deny them the ability to teleport to me. The very last command that we're going to look at for today is the world command. And basically, that gives you the choice of warping um, to different worlds. And meaning, if you wanted to warp to the nether, or if you wanted to warp to the end, you could do so by doing slash world, uh, space, nether, etc., normal, whatever you're going to be using. Well, I really hope that you guys really enjoyed this uh, review of the Essentials Bucket Plugin. I know it's my first time. I don't really have uh, a general way of doing this. Uh, and plus, not only that, but this Essentials uh, Plugin is a huge, huge plugin that gives you a lot of um, abilities and a lot of, like I said, command. I mean, we just ran through them, and there was a lot for to look at. So, um, again, I know it was a very long video. I know I went through a little bit more explanation for some things that I needed, but uh, I felt like uh, it, it was good enough that um, you, you could get by with this little tutorial. And I hope it does help people. And uh, if it did, please leave any comments. If you have any comments about anything in this video whatsoever, good or bad, by all means, leave it down below. I enjoy feedback. Feedback helps me make better videos. So, as always, thank you all for watching. I'm Stephanie Old World Gamer, and I will see you all soon for a new plug-in review. Bye-bye.